Hello everyone, we are from group 4. In this video, we're gonna talk about theme-based instruction, which part of post-method era. But before we start, let us introduce our group. My name is Afifa Sabrina Rahayu and my friend Rizky Prima Julianti. Today, we're gonna talk about three topics, post-method era, an informed eclectic approach, and theme-based instruction. The post-method era The post-method era of language teaching was a concept that arose around the turn of the 21st century that described the need to put rest the limited concept of method as it was used in the previous century. An informal eclectic approach Eclectic approach is a method of language education that combines various approaches and methodologies to teach language depending on the aims of the lesson and the abilities of the learners. Now, let's move to the next topic. Theme-based instruction Theme-based instruction is a teaching method which focuses on the application of academic skills as a necessity. There are six points that we're gonna talk about theme-based instruction. The general and specific objective of theme-based instruction. The general objective. To improve the learner's linguistic skills in writing and also the learner's skills in listening, reading, and speaking. The specific objective To improve the learner's creative thinking and skill organization along list of activities relating to areas of the curriculum under one theme, and also to provide realistic and motivating uses of language. Next, syllabus model. A theme-based curriculum means that each skill area of curriculum is connected to a topic which refers to a theme. Sometimes, themes are very specific. For example, in a preschool class, 3 years old might be learning about animals as a 4-week theme. All of their classroom activities will be tied into the theme during the unit. Sometimes, themes are longer and more general. Planning is part of syllabus model. First, you have to determine the direction, activities, and time. What kind of activities and how long it is. Next, you have to find a team. And after that, you have to planning the content, which related with the direction, activities, and time. And after that, you can planning language learning tasks for your student. Now, we are moving on to types of learning and teaching activities. According to Brown and Lee in their book Foundation for Classroom Practice, there are two ways of how language is taught, environmental awareness and action. Here are some teaching activities that are usually used on theme-based instruction, which are using environmental statistics and facts for classroom reading, writing, discussion, and debate carry out research and writing projects, have students create their own environmental awareness material, arrange field trips, and conduct simulation schemes. Students' roles. In class, students will read articles and chapters, view the video programs, write, and discuss the topic based on the theme. It will help the student to improve their skills in four main domains, which are writing, listening, reading, and speaking. Teacher roles. According to Cameron, the teacher has the role of coordinator and facilitator. Especially young children need someone to help them reflecting their learning process. During the lesson, he is also often needed as the one commenting on what the children are making and suggesting alternatives. The teacher should always be aware of the unpredictability of the development of the lesson. 
The teacher must be flexible and able to handle the situations that arise out of context. Especially the offering of choice points leads to new unknown language situations. Instructional Material Rules Theme-based instruction focuses on developing students' ability by putting students in several activities that leads to material that is taught. Then, students will be asked to play active roles through activities they engage in. Students are actively involved in learner-centered collaboration. Here are our references. That's all from us for today. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.